Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, the embattled boss of TSB is to lose his £2 million bonus after his disastrous handling of his bank's computer meltdown. Appearing before MPs, Paul Pester said he took full responsibility and therefore would not be taking the money. Now, he admitted 40,000 customers have complained and that some are still experiencing problems nearly two weeks on. Here's our business editor, Joel Hills. The IT upgrade was supposed to be TSB's coming of age, a platform for the bank to take on the high street giants. But day 13 of disruption and TSB's executives found themselves in front of MPs. The chair began by reading an email from a customer she'd received this morning. I have not been able to access my account for two weeks now. I have fluctuating balances, no idea which direct debits and standing orders have been paid. I don't recognise, unfortunately, the situation you're describing. I mean, are you saying that this person is not, not telling the truth? There's no group of customers who have been locked out of the bank for two weeks. I mean, do you not think it's extraordinarily complacent to sit there and say that actually this migration went smoothly? In the last 10 days, TSB has received 40,000 complaints, more than 13 times the usual amount. 5% of TSB customers are still having trouble logging into internet banking, and there are ongoing problems at 40% of the bank's branches. And anyone calling TSB faces an average wait of 30 minutes. Mark Williams is a TSB customer, and he's thinking of leaving. He still can't see his current account or his mortgage balance online. This is not acceptable. They claim to be you know, a digital business that happens to be a bank and then it doesn't work. They're neither a digital business nor a bank. That's frustrating. TSB argues no other bank in Europe has ever attempted an IT upgrade of this scale and complexity. Had everything gone smoothly, the bank's chief executive was in line for a bonus of up to £2 million. Today, Paul Pester agreed to give that bonus up. When will the shambles be over, Mr Pester? We are working very hard on fixing this. I'm, I can't give you a fixed date. If I give you a fixed date now, it's likely to be unfair to our customers. This week, next week, week after next. We expect to see the service improve, but I can't give you a date, and I'm sorry. <clears throat> TSB insists the upgrade was tested before it launched, but now accepts the rollout should have been delayed. If there's one decision in my life that I could change, it was the decision to go ahead with the migration at one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Clearly, that was a terrible decision for our bank, for our customers and for me personally. The TSB boss insists he'll stay to put right what went wrong. He won't say how many customers the failed upgrade has cost the bank. Joel Hills, ITV News. Now, TSB has confirmed that its chief executive, Paul Pester, will not take bonuses totalling £2 million uh, because of the computer problems which have affected millions of the bank's customers. Many have had trouble using the bank's online services following an IT upgrade uh, 10 days ago. TSB executives giving evidence to a parliamentary committee have again apologised for the problems, as our personal finance correspondent Simon Gompertz tells us. It's the bank that wasn't available, all because of a systems upgrade. Customers shut out of their accounts, complaining they couldn't get help, and when they could log in, about wrong information. One shocked to be a million pounds in the red. My name is Paul Pester and I'm the CEO of TSB Bank. The chief executive apologised to MPs but said most people could now use their online accounts. The percentage that are logging in successfully are 95%. Now, of course, 5% of customers are not logging in. That is often the case for any bank. But he was told he was trying to defend a bank that was broken. What we are hearing this afternoon um, is the most uh, staggering example of, um, of a chief executive who seems unwilling to realise the scale of the problem that is being faced. We would expect to have a and it didn't impress Lee, a TSB business customer who runs a delivery company in Essex. He's had to pay 16 staff out of his personal account. It makes me feel frustrated um, and it makes me feel really, really angry. And if he was in front of me, I'd shake him and try and wake him up out of his daydream because the guy is, is in cloud nine with regards to what his clients are going through. He doesn't fully understand what we're going through. 
Um, I feel that he, our situation should be put on him. With that level of unhappiness, MPs wanted to know if the bosses would resign. Uh, are you going to lose either chairman or chief executive? Um, no. So they're staying, but Paul Pester does appear to be losing £2 million of bonus. Is Mr Pester going to get his bonus? And, and let, me, um, let me answer then. And I was, I was going to offer Paul the opportunity to say, which he has, that he will not be taking his bonus for this integration. How are we doing for volumes for next week? But foregoing a bonus isn't enough to satisfy Lee from Essex, who just wants a bank account which works. He's switching his furniture delivery business to another bank, which has promised a fully functioning account in 48 hours. Simon Gompertz, BBC News. Up.